YouTube, it's me, Video Game Pimp. It's gonna be a quick video for you guys on two new N64 games. I was gonna get 30, but I couldn't afford it because it was uh, another one was too much. I only had 20 bucks on me, so you know, I could have had it afford only two. And I got me three Game Boys. Um, first of all, I got these three, I got one of these Game Boys I actually at a pawn shop. Some bitch, some lady at the pawn shop said it wasn't working, that's why it was 30 bucks. But she looked her body language uh, looked kind of weird to me because, um, when she said it, it just felt really weird. I felt like she was trying to lie to me or something. And then she said it didn't work. Of course, I, I just said I collect them. So I bought that bitch for 30 bucks. And when I get, got home, put batteries in that son bitch, it worked. No kidding. It worked perfectly. I don't know what, the, I don't know, I, I don't know if she was keeping it for her son or something, but I, I could tell her body language uh, was a little fucked up or something. Um, but I, I could just tell on people because uh, this lady just act weird when she, when I sold it to her. She didn't talk to me. I like that. You know, I collect these. And she's all like, okay. I'm like, what the fuck? But I'm glad I got this because this is actually like a red game. Boy. It's kind of like pink or something. It's, it's girl. But I got this bitch because it was only three bucks. So I was going to get this PSP Slim. But I decided to get it because it had a crack in it. So I said, fuck it. And I got these two other game boards. Got an Atomic Purple Game Boy Color. Get into it. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Um, really, good. I always wanted one of these. Had a back right there. Pretty awesome. Um, game Boy Advance um, original. I used this is actually the very first Game Boy I ever gotten in my life. It was the same color as this. I mean, I used to play that bitch all the time. It was memories. And when I first got this, I really feel a lot of memories coming back for some reason. Uh, but yeah, there it is. No top, unfortunately. But whatever. I don't give a fuck about that. Let's get this to the 64 games because I'm a 64 collector as well. Um, I got me arrows, arrow. I can't pronounce it. Arrow fighters, uh, aerial fighters, assault. This I thought this game was gonna be better, but it's actually not. It's kind of boring. It's kind of hard. You're basically flying a plane and shit. You know, it's kind of stupid. But you know, I just got it for the collection. And of course, I got this bitch, Perfect Dark. It was only seven nine nine. I had to get this bitch. This game itself. I thought this game was gonna suck because I, I thought it was overrated. Because I played the Xbox Live arcade version. I didn't like it. This version I like a lot better. It doesn't have better graphics than the Xbox Live version, but it's just this is what I'm talking about. This is a 64 game right here. Great graphics, of course, 64 bit game, as you can see. And the gameplay, very fun. The story is great. You're playing as a chick, shooting people pretty much. Uh, it's kind of like a futuristic game, kind of. Very fun game, though. I really like this game. Probably, this is must have. If you have a Nintendo 64, yes, must have. This is my second favorite Nintendo 64 game. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got. You know, I got three Game Boys, two new 64 games. This is Retro Gaming Update. Peace out.